Hi everyone, it's Veronica and I am here with my second installment of Sisterhood of the Traveling Embossing Folders Projects. Um, please be sure to check out my original video which gives you a detailed explanation about what Sisterhood of the Traveling Embossing Folders is. But in a nutshell, it's uh, Tina who is our hostess sent around some embossing folders to Shantae and myself and then Tina uh, receive them last to do some creations with uh, and what we're doing for the month of September is showcasing the creations we made with the embossing folders and I know for me embossing folders are uh, some tools that I never really pick up a lot I used to when I first bought them but now I just don't use them that much so this was great to get the creative juices flowing in order to see what I could come up with. My day to showcase projects is on Wednesday. Shantae is Monday and um, Tina is Friday. So be sure to check out their channels as well. Dis uh, links to their channels will be in the description box and we're going to jump right in to see what the projects are that I created today. Now last week I did tags and all of this will be in a playlist in case you've uh, missed it so that you can go back and check it out if you'd like to do so. This week I am doing packaging. So these are the products that I use. These clothespins I got from um, Michaels in their $1.50 bin. I think it was last year. And I didn't use the actual pin. I just pulled the trees off because that was the part that I wanted. Some want to scrap bling enamel dots. This comes from Hobby Lobby. Kind of glarish. Sorry about that. Tim Holtz and I use the word jingle. Spellbinders wreath. Another Spellbinders folder, the Blossom die. I use this uh, box die and it just says E.L. Smith. I was looking for the name on it and could never find it. E.K. Success Punch Christmas Tree and Snow Ticks. So let me move this over to the side so we can see what I created. Okay, again, I did packaging. This first one is that box die and the embossing folder that I use for this one is deck the halls and again I don't have them because they had to go around and um, get back to Tina and what was interesting about the folders I found that out of all of the embossing folders that I have I did not have one that she sent so it was really cool just to see some of the other ones that were available but this is where I use the little, uh, and I'm hoping you can see where I put deck the halls. And that's where I put the little um, embellishment from Hobby Lobby, just cut it in parts. Pull the trees off the clothespins. And again, this is a little box. And I put a piece of acetate here. And you can put little goodies in there to share. Or a gift card, even. Alright, and this second one was a tutorial that Live Love Scrap, who is Bona here on YouTube, did. And she made a, like a little bag. And this is the Spellbinders Blossom die here and the wreath die here. I just added some bling. It's the front and the back. And the word jingle from Tim Holtz. So I thought that was cute. Oh, and I did use some... Um, decorative scissors. I think this was the pinking shears. So that's that one. And the last one is a fun bag to give a gift in to a child. And uh, oh I'm sorry the embossing folder here that I used is uh, Holly Swirls and on this one I used Santa in Chimney. Now my original plan for this uh, was to put it on a box, which I had it on, then realized it was upside down, so I had to cut it off the box and come up with a different plan. But I think it turned out pretty cute, so I just cut 
the um, the base for the house and the roof used a uh, which I did not pull out uh, scalloped punch to do the uh, shingles on the roof you see the snow ticks here all over the roof of the house some on the tree added some bling to the tree I put cotton on Santa's uh, right around his boots I used Wink of Stella I'm not sure that you can see that there it goes on his uh, boots and snow ticks on the chimney so that is how that one turned out and for the handles I use those little that little box from um, Dollar Tree. That was the plan before this plan. And by the time I got through working with that box, it was janky. So I couldn't use it, but I cut the handles off and just traced them on some red paper to put the handles on the bag. And this bag is from Michaels. So those are my projects for um, this week. Let's see if I can sit that up. Okay, that is my packaging using the embossing folders. Um, I'm really enjoying this series because it's making me think a little bit and get back to some things that I need to be using anyway. So, uh, again, be sure to check out the links in the description box for Shantae and for Tina. Thank you all for stopping by. I would love to hear your comments. Happy crafting!